Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. It's supposed to be uh, GMS Raleigh, uh, GMS Charlotte. You know, back at another weekend to preach the beautiful words of the Alibi Shema Rashai. We'll be going in front of the ball, praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son. The Alibi Shema Rashai, the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone are teaching us to understand the truth according to the Bible rule well. And peace and blessings so for like the nation of Israel. We're going to get into it. Yep. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Another week to preach the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh The scriptures say, Woe to me if I preach not the gospel. So we out, you know, to preach this word. And for those that have eyes to see and ears to hear, hey, hey we pray this, this word is edifying to the hopeful elect. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it. This is, this is, this is, this is Second Ezra is 9 and 1. Uh huh. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Uh -huh. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Yeah, so we measure the time diligently in itself. And how do we do that? Through the prophecies. Through the prophecies. What, what does prophecy mean? To speak before. So we're coming to speak the words that was already given to us before time when you read Romans 15 and verse 4. So we come to prophesy or, 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 or speak the words of our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh who is the God of heaven and of earth. So we come in to speak the words unto who? Unto the hopeful elect. Unto those that can receive these words. You see? So we're measuring the time through the prophecies. And it said when we see part of the signs pass, that it's, the, it's a sign, a token, that what? That, that the highest is coming to visit the earth of which he made. So we, we see the signs, the chariots. We see the fall of Babylon the Great, America. You see, these are these are part of the signs. You see, the, the, the brewing race wars, you know, the, the economic collapse of this place and all the things that come with it, all the plagues that the scriptures speak about. You see, so these are all the signs. Keep going, Baba Kishan. Verse three. Uh -huh. Therefore, there shall be seen earthquakes and upwards of the people uh -huh. in the world, then thou wilt up, so like then thou wilt well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Yeah, and we've been seeing earthquakes over the years, and now we're seeing more and more of uproars of the people. Look at what's going on in Haiti. Look at what's going on in South Africa. See, the scripture said these things will be going on. And these things are coming to a city near you, wherever you may be. Because this is biblical prophecy, you know? So the uproars of the people is coming more and more and more. Why is that? Because we're in a time of great prophecy. You got some up? Yeah, this is uh, Ephesians 5 to 14. It says, Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, then rise from the dead, and Hamashiach shall give thee light. Mm. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but what? Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Yep. You know? Yep. So look, that's plain, man. We're supposed to be revising uh, 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 mentally, spiritually, from this filth, from this uh, pollution that's, that's going over the whole earth, man. Yep. It tells you in Job, the ninth chapter, the earth was given to the hands of the wicked. So, what do you think he's going to promote? Righteousness? No. He's going to promote what he's going to program to promote. Pure wickedness, man. And we got to come out of that because we've been taught that for 500 plus years. Yep. It's okay for a man to be a man, a woman to be a woman. The kids run the household. To eat abominable foods. I had Jake tell me that eating shrimp with the ducks. And it's getting protein. The Lord's gonna kill you, nigga. That's right. If you don't repent. Yep. And like you said, now is the time because the promise is fulfilled as such. Right. You got uproars of the people. All right, you got uh, inflation. Yep. Hitting uh, Nigeria. Yep. Hitting Cuba. Yep. So in America. Yep. That's it. Can you read that, that precept again? Right. Somebody give me Romans 13 11. This is uh, Romans. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. oh, you okay. said it. I'll just lock it. Lock it. Yeah. <laughs> Ephesians 5 and 14. Yeah. It says, Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleep. And who's asleep? The 12 tribes of Israel. Two thirds of the nation of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are you, you, you are he who sleeps. Thou that sleepest. Right. Our people are asleep, meaning they have not awakened to this truth. You see? Go ahead. Yep. It says, Ephesians 5 and 14, it says, Wherefore he said, But wake down the sleepers and arise from the dead, uh -huh. and Hamashiach shall give thee light. Yep. That's right. The dead represents these other nations. Yep. You know, and Yahweh Shah is shining that light upon us, which is this knowledge. Yep. So, you know, the, the glorious gospel, yep. which is able to make us wise unto salvation. 
Yeah. That's right. You got that Romans 13 and 11? Anybody? I got it. it. don't matter who it is. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Uh-huh, because it said, wake down the sleepers. Yep. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time. Yep, that now, right now, when you see the men of the Lord awakening the four corners of the earth, now is the high time. It, it damn sure wasn't the, 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 the time of Christianity, the time of, of the Crusades, and the last, you know, you know, handful of centuries that, that, that these Christians been going around, you know, uh, masquerading as the people of the Most High. It said, read it one more time. Romans 13, 11, yep. that knowing the time, if I may say, we know the yep. time because we've been measuring the time. Measuring the time, you know? right. We've been watching, we've been uh, paying attention to the prophecies of the Abba Shema Shai. We've been taking heed to what the prophets of the Lord have been saying. Yep. It says, in that knowing the time, that now it is high time. Now it's high time. That's right. And if you look up that uh, definition of high time in the blue leather, it goes into something that should have been done a very long time ago. You know? You know, Jake has had this word from the Apostle and Elders for 35 plus years. Yep. You know, in uh, decades before that. You see, so it, you should have been repenting. You know, why are you turning? Why are you waiting to turn back onto the God of the Bible? Yep. And it reads, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Yep, that sleep, that slumber our people are in, being in the ways of the world, believing in, believe in America, you know, uh, uh, being in all these different uh, ideological ways of thinking, you know, if, if you are if you are a comedic, if you are an Egyptologist, if you're a Christian, a Catholic, any of these things, you will sleep. The scriptures say now it's time to come out of sleep, meaning to come out of the ways of the world and return to what? Return to righteousness, you know, put on a whole armor of light. Go ahead. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. You've been seeing the chariots. So our salvation, that's one of the many signs you're speaking about. Our salvation is nearer than when we believe. You know, we see the chariots. We see the signs. We see all the tokens the Lord has given us. So this is the time to come back and return to your power. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Got any more? Yep. St. Matthew 16 and 1, the Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting desired him and he would show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said to them, when it is evening, he say, it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and glory. O ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky, but can you not discern the, sky, the signs of the times? You know? So Jake wanted a, 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 a physical sign. Just as Elijah called uh, fire down from heaven, you know, that's what they want to see from our Lord. You know, but when he called them hypocrites, a wicked and perverse generation. You know, because what is the Lord come on the scene to push? He came to push of faith and believing that he is, that the most high that he is through his word. Through Yahweh Shah, you gotta believe on the Son of Man. You know, he came in the lowest state, you know, but for the majority of people that's not good enough. You know, they want someone uh, of a high statue. You know, they came lowly upon the earth, uh, riding upon the nest. Uh, a little bit more. And look, if this man back on what you just said, you take my hand, look, he said, you point to both camps. It's the biggest sign you're going to see. Yep. Yep. So called Negroes, right? And today, America, on the corner on the, on the of America, where we're scattered, you keep them in the place that they're in, man, which is hell. Yeah. Captivity. Yeah. yeah. Get into that. Which is the sign of the proper choice. Yeah, you got it. it says, a wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas, and he left them and departed. And what was so significant about the prophet Jonas? He went, the Lord sent him forth, you see, just as we have been sent forth with the king's message, and uh, he went and preached unto them and yep. told them to repent, you know? And for that time being, they did repent, they turned back, you know, because it wasn't yet the time for them to be destroyed, you see? That's right. That's right. Give, 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 any more precepts? I got, I got yep. something. I got something. Bring them out. Bring them out. It is Isaiah 58. It says, Cry loud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions. In the house of Jacob, their sins. Yep. Cry loud. You don't cry loud. Spare not. We lift up our voice like a trumpet. Somebody give me um, Amos 3 and 6. So we lift up our voice like a trumpet, and we're showing our people, you know, the Israelites, you know, their sins and their transgressions, telling them to return to their power before the Most High closes the doors of mercy, and, and he brings total judgment on this place, Babylon, America, I mean, Babylon the Great, which is America. You see? So we're crying out to our people, you know? 
Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, yeah. and the people not be afraid? Uh -huh. Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? Yeah. So, so the trumpet is being blown in the city, but we see clearly the people are not afraid. We're supposed to have droves and droves of people, you know, out here, you know, receiving this word. You know? So obviously the people are not afraid. Showing you, once again, the scripture says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. And that's going to be the fate of two-thirds of our people. And why is that? Because they didn't hearken unto the words of the men of the Lord. You know, they didn't consider. The scripture says our people, um, um, they, do, they don't not know, they don't, they, they don't not consider. See? They don't even consider who they are, that they're the people of the Most High. Yep. Jeremiah 44 and 4. How be it I sent unto you my servants, the prophets, rising early, sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. Right, man, what are we out here doing, man? Hey, we, we, we out here lifting my voice like a trumpet, man. We're going to uh, trumpet of the war. You know, the, hey, the Lord is on, on his return, man. And he's bringing nothing but uh, death and destruction with him, man. For those who are unrepentant, man. So what do our people do? Man? Verse 5, but they hearken not, nor incline their ear to turn from their wickedness, to burn incense unto other gods, wherefore my fury and mine anger was poured forth and was kindled in the cities of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem. Right, man, and Jerusalem is a, is a people before us a place, man. Yep. So it's not talking about, oh, all the way, it's wherever, it's wherever the uh, nation of Israel is, man. The Lord will pour out his fury upon you, but not coming and taking heed to his word. Yep. And they were wasted and desolate at this day. Right, man. Hey, they're gonna be wasting and desolate again, man, and that's uh, it's the second death that's to come, man. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Uh, I got a couple of things. No, you got it. Bring it out. Bring it out. Uh, you got it. Let me make it real fast. Yeah. Let me spark something. Yep. Yeah. I, I got uh, another one. This is 2nd uh, Ezra. He said the Lord's going to bring uh, great death, right? Yep, that's right. That's right. Uh, Ezra 8 and 50. It says, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the, in the world because they have walked in great pride. Yep. And that represents our people. The Lord's going to bring great death, man. Yeah, it's gonna come all of a sudden. I mean, you gotta visualize this thing. It could be a, a you know, the NBA Finals. Uh, something going on can happen. They're taking out a whole bunch of people. You know, it was mass crowds. A, a look, a disease, an outbreak can happen. Yep. You know? This devil's been pushing this, uh, what is it called? Uh, C19 Delta, 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 uh, Delta area. Delta yep. area. So, hey, he's giving you a prerequisite of what he's going to do, man. How he's going to lock this place back down, man. Yep. But, hey, the people are so dumb, man. They don't take heed, man. They don't, they don't believe you. Yep. It says in that same chapter, in the third verse, it says that many will be yep, created. It, yep. yep. But few going to be saved. You see? Yep. Hey, it. Matter of fact, you can say, right, hey, they not take, they not take heed of the warning. Man. Nope. You're not taking heed of the warning. Hey, yep. even the devil warning you and you ain't listening, man. Yep. <laughs> yeah. The Lord said, hey, he shall make their tongues fall upon yep. themselves, man. Yep. So the devil telling you what's going on, and they ain't listening. Ready for it? Yep. Yeah. 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 So the Ezra's 8, it says, And he answered me, saying, The Most High have made this world for many, but for the world to come for few. Yeah, because only, only the elect are going to be the first fruits that's going to partake in, in, in that grandeur. And then the rest of the, the two-thirds are going to come back to the Lord and the righteous. So there's the world to come is few, you see? But this world has been ruled by different, different nations over and over again. And now it's being ruled by the base man, Esau, Edom, which is the end of the rule. Because it tells the second Ezra 6 and 9 that Esau is the end of the world. So the world to come, our world we got next is for few. But so Lord will be endured to the end. Second Ezra 8 2 says, I will tell thee a similitude as when thou ask me, the earth it shall say unto thee, that is given much more uh food. Where I used to smoke. Not water. Just where the earthly vessels are made, but little dust that go coming, even so is the force of this present world, is void or street. There be many created, but few shall be saved. So I, so I, so I, so I answer. I instead swallow this down, my soul understanding and devour wisdom. Yes, yeah, so it says there shall be many, there shall be many created, but few shall be saved. You know, so there's a great multitude of Israel. Israel has the sand of the sea, you know, but you got we gotta count our blessings, you see? Out of the great multitude of Israelites, Yahweh Shema Shai has called us into his glorious gospel. You know, so that's why I said many are called, but few are chosen. Because we're calling to the world, but only that few who are chosen are gonna listen. You know, and that's what we're praying for. 
You know, that's what we uh, send our cries up to Yahweh by Shema Shai for. You see? For the remnant, those who truly believe. I got something? Yeah, one more. Yeah. One more it's not going to be an excuse for our people, man. Right. This is uh, Romans chapter 8, verse, uh, I started, uh, I started at 16. Yeah, it says, what? It's like uh, Romans 10 and 16, but they have not obeyed the gospel. But they have not obeyed the gospel. In this gospel, the Lord has called his uh, gospel to go forth as the light. Yep. You see? That's shining. Yep. So uh, right now, while it is today, we are doing the work of our Lord. You see, for the, for the night comes when no man can work. That's right. You see, when we take it off these streets, the, the warning is done. There's a time when the watchman is standing upon his tower where the danger is too close, where he's got to run into that strong tower in the city. Yep. You see, that strong tower is the name of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. He must call upon that name in all the seriousness and in truth. Right. You see, you have to go through his only begotten son. Read again. Yep. Romans 10 and 16, but they have not obeyed or obeyed the gospel. The gospel is the good news. Right. You know you're an Israelite? You know you're an Israelite? You know? That's the gospel. But as you being an Israelite comes with a, a set of rules and requirements and regulations that you must follow. You see? You're not just a king because you know you're an Israelite. Right. You know? Those are smooth words that our people have been fed, especially if they have the circumcision. Yeah, good point. It's a standard. Yep. And you living in a, a pretty much a lawless land, lawless society, do as thou will. Yep. I mean, you tell me you gotta live by a standard. They don't wanna hear that. Nah. Yep, it's Romans 10 and 16. It says, For Isaiah said, Lord, Read from the top. Yeah. This is uh, Romans 10 and 16, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. They have not obeyed. That's the point. Because obedience is the way unto salvation. You yep. see, if you're all obedient, that did not, they have, did not a Samuel tell. King Saul that to obey is better than sacrifice. Yep. And now Yahweh Shah said I came up to bring mercy and not sacrifice. You receive that mercy by believing on the only begotten son and to follow his ways. Yep. Yep. yep, it says, for Isaiah said, Lord, who have believed our report? Who have believed our report? Only the elect. Only the elect are going to believe these scriptures. The report given by our ancient forefathers. You see? And believe that these things are, are written there and are faithful and true. Verse 17. So then faith come by hearing. So then faith come by hearing. So what? If you were chosen from the foundation of the earth, you with us, uh, you come with the brothers. It says, so then faith come by hearing. So when you hear the words of Yahweh Shema Shai, then that's when your faith will enter into you. You see? It, but what? It has to be taught in this uh, purest form. That's right. Yep. Let's look at them brothers over there. Yep. So it reads on Romans 10 and 17. So then faith come by hearing, and hearing by the word of the house. That's right. By the word of the Lord being taught in this purest form. Yep. So this point right here. Romans 10 and 18, but I say, have they not heard? But I say, have they not heard? Right. No hope of people is born in. Yep. It says, uh, Romans 10 and 18, but I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily. Their sound went to all the earth, and their words into the end of the world. So all Israel, is, uh, at some point in their lifetime, is going to hear. Do you know the so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans are Israelites? Do you know that uh, Babylon the Great is America according to the Holy Bible? That Esau Edom is the devil that the Bible speaks of and that the God of the Bible is coming back. It's going to say it's only the God of back in your lifetime to destroy America and its armies and the nation and his armies. You see? And that Israel got next to rule. You know? This gospel is everywhere. That's why it's called the World Wide Web. That's it. Yep. Yeah. We're going to preach something behind this. Yeah. Into that. Hebrews 4 and verse 2 and it reads, for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. For unto us was the gospel preached as well on, as unto them. So they have all heard the gospel, the good news, you know? But the word preached did not profit them. It says not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. But those that heard the word, it was not mixed with faith. You know what? When they heard the words, they did not believe them. When we told them that pestilence was going to come upon the earth, that war was coming, that evil was being in bad times was coming to the shores of America, it did not profit them 
because they didn't believe. If it profited them, they would have took heed to the message and asked, how do I escape these things? Yep. What do I need to do to escape the pending judgment that's coming from Yahweh by Shema Yep. Hey, did somebody want to read that precept? Yep. Ephesians 2 and 8? Okay. Hey, spirit, spirit, you got it? You got it? You got it? Because yep. Ephesians 2 and 8 says, yep. for, for by grace are ye saved through faith mm -hmm. and not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Yeah, it's the gift of the Most High, Yahweh Shema Yahweh So each brother, each believer that believes, these brothers and sisters coming back into faith, it ain't either of your own will. It's by the will of your how about me up a shot. So 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 that should spark something in your spirit each and every day that you that the Lord allows you to be in this truth. Because the Lord can take you out. So what kind of mind frame or what kind of way of thinking are we supposed to have? You see? So that that faith, which is a gift of the most high, is something that the most high gifted each and every believer with. You see? And not every man, the scriptures tell us, have faith. You see? Yep. Romans 11 and 7, just to back up that point. Hey, the Lord had blown these people. Yep. Hey, that's why, hey, they heard the words the same way we did, man, but it benefited them not. Romans 11 and 7, what then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Right, man. Hey, the ones that was meant to get it, you know, those elect, man, you know what I'm saying, which we hope we be a part of that, that number, man. Hey, we've obtained it, man. The Lord's will be the hopeful elect. You know what I'm saying? But the rest were blinded, man. That's why, hey, man, they see us out here giving uh, prophesied doom and gloom in this place, and they still walking by like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, everything all good. Like, hey, it's just a regular Saturday. Like, they seen this before in their life. Right. You know? Yeah. And it, it goes back to us having faith. That's why we out here. Mm -hmm. Why each and every single one of us out? Because we were, we were mixed with the faith. Now, what we got to do is pray that we can keep that faith. Because just as the Lord turned that light on, he can turn it off. And we see that happen, you guys, man. That's a scary thing. Verse 8, according to as it is written, how have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, ears that they should not hear until this day. Right, man. That's why you see Jake in the pitiful case that he in right now, man. Hey, you can't tell a nigga shit, man. Here it is. We literally have an option to know all things, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how niggas are, they have TV shows, Crystal Ball. She has Crystal Ball song. Hey, the Lord has made us that Crystal Ball on earth, man. The only thing we can't tell you is the exact date, which no man know it, man. You know, but hey, how this place going down, what this devil's doing behind the scenes, we can give you all these answers, but our people, they don't see and they don't hear, man. How long is that day? One hour. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> one, hey, hey, how long the distraction going to last? Bro, come on, man. The Lord literally he said it's been uh, to give you warning from him, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because this ain't of us, man. We're not just some ultimate wise dudes. We're we speaking the words of how about Shemiah was shot, man. Now, I have that real quick. I have that in NLT. 2 Corinthians 4 3. Now, hear, hear what this says. If the good news, which we know is the gospel, we preach is hidden behind a veil, it is hidden only from people who are perishing. So only from the people that's perishing. Can't get this. You know, the multitude that's going to perish that was born in vain. So the ones that can't get it is the ones that say right here in the NLT, 2 Corinthians 4 and 3, uh, is hidden only from the people who are perishing. You see? The ones that, 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 that was not uh, preordained and predestined to be in receipt of the truth. See? And the way they live their lifestyle, you know? Everybody wants to live forever, and that's what you always try to promise. Believe on me, I shall give you eternal life. Well, how the hell are you going to live eternal life when your ways are anti-life? You see? When you're eating all type of abominable foods that the Lord uh, set you up not to eat, that proves that you don't honor you don't, uh, you don't your life. You know? I got something. Uh, and this is why you should consider yourself blessed if you got this truth. Yep. This is uh, Matthew 13 and 16. It says, okay, it says, but blessed, blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for you hear. That's right. We've been, we've been blessed with the, with the, uh, with the foresight. You see, with the, with the foreknowledge of Yahweh by Shema with the, with the, not, from the, with the knowledge of the Heavenly Father, you see, which was foreordained for us to receive, you know? Now, Lord's willing, we're part of that number. That's why we're part of the hopeful elect. We're the, we're the men and multitude of believers down here upon the earth that are full of hope. And through that hope, which our expectation is going to lead to our deliverance. Because the hope of the righteous is only good. You see? We're not hoping to be destroyed. We're hoping to be delivered. Yeah, that's a demon. Yep. That's a demon when you start thinking those thoughts. That's why you got rebuke, man. These demons will come heavy on brothers. That's why. 
Satan desire to have us. You know what I'm saying? Satan already got two thirds. You know they're they're, they're already doing it. They're they go. They go. His side of the line. Yeah. They are of their father the devil. Yep. That's right. Yep. That's it. Matter of fact, in that same chapter, do you read verse nine? 10 and 11, Papa Bushar? Because it said, blessed yeah. are your eyes, Yahweh Bushar said, yeah. for they see and your ears for they hear. Yep, this is Matthew 13 and 9. Yep. It says, who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Yep. And the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? Uh-huh. Is this what Jesus talking about? Uh -huh. <laughs> the whole world? Yeah. Just tear it up. Look, the end of. Boom. <laughs> like the brother uh, said, women should not be operating heavy machinery. <laughs> God. Yep. So read on, say Matthew 13, 11. He answered and said to them, uh -huh. because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. The elect, the believers, the Bacardi. You see, right. those, that, those that can spiritually see and hear. Yeah. Unto you. Those that hear, yo. Yep. And this for you. Yep. You know? Yep. It says... Uh, it's like the rest of my yep. it's in, it's in, it's because it is given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Yep. But to them it is not given. To, to, to the two thirds it's not given. Right. That's why it says in 2 Corinthians 4 and 3, with the NLT version, it says the gospel is not for them that are perishing. Right. You see? They ain't for them. Because they, they perishing, they're gonna be destroyed. The most high don't want them. Yahweh Shah said the kingdom of heaven is like a man that threw a net in the sea and, 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 and he took the good and threw back the bad. That's the bad. Yeah. You see? Yeah. The way our forefathers do, right? Yeah. When they, they fish with a net. Yeah. You know, the righteous ones, they didn't keep the crabs. They right. The lobsters, right. They tossed them back. And the unclean fish. And there you go. You see? Exactly. It was no need in there. No need. <laughs> That's right. You see? You got a little bit there. Want to read it? Yep. All right. Verse 12. This is St. Matthew 13 and 12. It says, For whosoever had to him shall be given, mm -hmm. and he shall have more abundance. Yep. For whosoever had not, from him shall be taken away. Even that he had. Yeah, so when you was in the church and they told you that, that, the, that, that the Lord came to give us life and life more abundantly, it didn't mean to just give us riches and the things of the world. It was talking about this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. It's talking about this truth. He who have, hey, you going to have more abundantly, you know, to, to the believers. Because the Lord also said in Hebrews 11, he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You see? Oh, you got that? Oh, that's, that's the spirit. This is uh, Hebrews, I'm sorry, one. Hebrews 11 and 1. Yep. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now faith, that word substance breaks down, is a compound word. Sub means to understand, means to stand. So to have faith, meaning you have the understanding and things hoped for. So you have the understanding and our expectation, you know, which is to receive salvation. And the promises are written here in these scriptures. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. The evidence of things not seen was the scriptures. You know, the different accounts that our forefathers gave. Those, that's the evidence of things not seen. Daniel's getting delivered out of the lion's skin. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego being assayed out of the fiery furnace. It takes faith to believe those things. Not only does it take faith to believe in those things, it takes faith to believe that those things can happen unto you. Yep. Verse 6. Well, verse, verse 2. For by it, the elders obtained a good report. Mm -hmm. And the elders, being our righteous forefathers, obtained that good report in so much that we still speak about them even on to this very day. Mm -hmm. Coming down to verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Yeah, that's a happy point. Because faith is the main is the main ingredient to being able to uh, to stand in this truth and then to hopefully, Lord willing, have the spiritual endurance to endure to the end. Because he who endures to the end is the same such as saved. So without faith, you can't please the most like your house by shot. And no, like some of these camps, you know, push, no, you can't keep the whole law. You see? So so we are under grace. Right. They don't give no man a license to sin. But it shows that we need Yahweh Shah for these idiots out here who try to push that, that energy as if they can keep the whole law. As if, you know, uh, that's going that, 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 that their wicked ways are gonna suffice. No, we need Yahweh Shah. You see? We need we need our mediator, you know, to plead on on, 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 on our behalf to the Heavenly Father. That's right. You got verse, oh, look what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, verse six, but without faith is impossible to please him. Mm -hmm. For he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is. And what is the Most High's name? Yahweh. That means what? He is. You must believe that he is. Keep going. And that he is a rewarder of them 
that diligently seek him. And that he is, Yahweh is, a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So you must believe in him. You must believe in Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. And that he's going to reward those who truly worship him, you know, and, 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 and seek him in spirit and in truth. The scripture says we're supposed to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth, right? I mean, we can't do it our way. When you read Romans 10 and 3, the scriptures tell you you can't do it your way. Your way ain't going to work. Your way had you in the world being abominable. You see? You got it. This is St. John 4 and 23. Yep. I'm sorry, 22. You, know, yeah, you yeah. worship, you yeah, know not. It's good and bad. We know what we worship. See, see, hey, the, the, the true children of Israel, the, the Israel of God, we know what we worship. You know? We know who we worship. Go ahead. For salvation is of the Jews. Salvation is only for the nation of Israel. That's right. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Now it says the hour is coming. You look up that word hour, it goes into a moment. This is the moment. This is that actual time period where you're seeing the true worshipers come back to, to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, you know, in spirit and in truth, meaning according, uh, according to this word. We call them back on the true name of the Lord. We ain't calling the Lord, you know, these different pagan names. We call on the true Messiah. You know, not the Messiah of the Edomites, which is JC. We ain't called on that guy. Right. That guy gets you killed out here. We coming back to your how about Shimmy Abishai, who's our deliverer. So the true worshipers said what? They're gonna worship the Father? In spirit and in truth. And why? And it reads, it reads St. John 4 and 23. Yep. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. So you can't do it your way. You gotta do it the way the Lord said to do it. That's what the Lord requires. That's a spiritual prerequisite in order to serve the Most High. You can't do it your way. Once again, Romans 10 to 3, it tells you that. You can't establish your own righteousness. So you have to come back to serving the Lord according to his word and according to his will. Not your way, not what you think, not your emotions and your feelings. Yep. It's the spirit that quickens, the flesh profit of nothing. The words that we speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Yep. You know, as you just say, say, sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth. Yep. So the spirit and the truth, which the word was made flesh, is Yahweh Shai. Yep. You see, so we got to follow Yahweh Shai and get back to the Father. Yep. That's the only way. I got a, a story on that. It's trust and faith. Um, you got to be in the temple. You got to be in the This is uh, St. John 20, verse, uh, I'll start in uh, 24. It says, but Thomas, one of the twelve, called uh, the, Me the Menas, was not with them when Yahweh Shai came. The other disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord, we, but, we, but he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my fingers into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days, again, his disciples were with him, were with them, and Thomas with them. Then came uh, Yahweh Shad, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, He's be unto you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then said he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believe me. So Thomas, that's why he's known as Yahweh Thomas, he, was, he wasn't suffice, suffice, he wasn't satisfying the spirit. Until so Yahweh Shai came on to him. Because what? The disciples which uh, which would follow Yahweh Shai, which came to Thomas, what? What were they? They were a witness of the of the seeing of Yahweh Shai. You know? And we are witnesses, you know, in the spirit. We're the ones with the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Which is the spirit of prophecy. The Bizarre, St. John 20 and 28, it says, and then Thomas.